Hi guys, my name is Alana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mental Help with Alana. If you're new here, please click the red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and also press the bell notification so you know every time I post a video. I post videos every Friday, so please subscribe and join the channel. I also have a business called Care Boxes by Alana. I create sensory boxes for your mental health. If you're interested in buying one, please go to my Instagram and send me a DM and I can organize that for you. I have a range of different boxes that you can pick from. For this video, I'm going to be talking about mobility aids, the aids that I use and the benefits and cons, pros and cons of each one, I suppose. So. First of all, I'm going to start with um, the mobility aid I started using first, which was a walking stick. So, I've been using a walking stick for, I think, well over a year now. I have chronic fatigue syndrome, and this causes me a lot of problems with my mobility. Um, I get very shaky legs, very weak body, um, my balance goes off, um, I get uh, very fatigued and tired legs um, and I get where it feels like my body complete my whole body just feels like a dead weight that I'm trying to drag around and um, I just literally I'm trying to force my legs to move and they just don't want to move so yeah um, I've also got other health issues that cause me dizziness shortness of breath and things like that so all that combined makes walking in particular very difficult. So I have been using a walking stick for quite a long time. Um, I'll quickly show you, I'll have another clip where I'm going to show you um, in a better view, but I've got this red one. If you're wondering where these are from, these are from a company called Neo Walk. Um, it's a UK based company and they have amazing walking sticks. But I've got this red one, um, which was my first walking stick that I ever got. Um, And then I have another one, I have this purple one, which um, has like the little bubbles in it as well, but yeah, it's the same type of thing, it's just um, a different colour. served me very well. I use these walking sticks when I am going to be doing activities where I know I'm not going to need to be walking far and there is guaranteed seating available. So this could be like if I'm going to, um, I don't know, like somebody's house, um, if I go to church, for example, I know I'm going to be sitting down but I need it for when, like, before I'm sitting down, um, so I'll take it with me. Um, I take it if I'm just going to be going to the shops for a little bit, or if that day my mobility is a lot better and I feel like I only need my walking stick, um, I might take it to the shops. So, you know, it's things like that. Um, times I wouldn't use it would be if I'm going to be walking a further distance, I don't know if there's going to be seats available, um, I'm really badly fatigued, my symptoms are flared up really bad, things like that. So, the pros of having a walking stick is that it's very portable, it's easy to take with you. Um, you can get foldable walking sticks if you want to. Um, I have one, but the problem is that even on its lowest um, setting, it's still too tall for me because I'm very short. Um, whereas these uh, walking sticks, which are acrylic, they're made for your height. So, um, yeah, I got my purple one a little bit taller just so that um, when I'm wearing shoes that I have a bit of a heel or boots, which I normally wear because I found with my red one, it's just that tiny bit too short. I can still use it, but um, it's just like a little bit too short um, depending on what shoes I have on. But 
you know, they're very good because they're lightweight, they're easy to take with you, um, they're not super expensive, things like that. Now, obviously the cons are if you need more um, stability, if you need to be walking further, um, you might need to sit down um, more regularly, things like that. So then comes into play with my walker. Now, I got this walker recently. I I have some things that I like about it and I have some things I don't like about it. So this walker in particular turns into a wheelchair. The thing with this, which I didn't, I did think about this before I bought it, but there were some other external reasons kind of that I was listening to that made me choose maybe the wrong decision, but I should have gone with my gut. The walker is great. I think having a walker on its own is good, and the wheelchair thing in theory was going to work. The problem I found is that if I'm going out on my own, which is something I'm trying to do more, I'm trying to challenge myself to do that, if I need to sit down, like say I want to go to the shops for example, I can't walk around shops, it's just too much, I need to be sitting down. So that means I have to have either a support worker or my mum there to push me and my mum has a lot of mobility issues herself and has a lot of chronic pain she's got things that stop her from doing stuff and so she can't always push me in the walker and she finds it very difficult to push me in the walker so i generally just have to use it as a walker and not as a wheelchair and i found that the wheels on the back of this walker are very stiff and don't really turn properly so when people are trying to wheel you around it doesn't have a very smooth like turning to it. Um, it's not good on gravel, like in car parks, I found. Um, the wheels just aren't big enough. The wheels need to be bigger. Um, and I'm not sure whether they could be potentially replaced. I'm not sure. So that's the issue I found. As a walker itself, it's fine. It's really good. Um, but it's just that I'm finding that... If I want to be independent, having something like that isn't going to really work because you can't really be independent with it. You need somebody else to be... there to push you in it um so it's it's totally fine like when my support worker when she's on um like she has a shift with me or my other support worker i've got two but you know whenever they are taking me somewhere they're a lot stronger and able to push me in it and it's okay um but i don't really like the fact that i feel like i have to rely on somebody else to kind of push me around um it's also quite difficult to get it in and out of my car on my own because it is quite heavy. Um, I mean, it's made out of light material, but for me, it still weighs a lot. I'm not a big person, and I obviously have mobility issues and issues with, like, you know, strength and carrying things and, and doing all of that type of stuff. So lifting it in and out of my boot, I took it out uh, yesterday. I went somewhere. The vlog will be going up. It's either up now or it ha it's going to be going up. But I went somewhere on my own to challenge my anxiety. And I walked. It was fine walking to where I went to sit, sit down. But then like walking back and I had to do heaps of other little jobs. Getting in and out of the car at different places. And I found all of that just to be very exhausting. Um, 
So the pros of the walker is that it is very sturdy when you want to push it and walk with it. It's great as a walker. I just think that maybe for me personally, I should have just gotten a small walker because this walker is quite large because it turns into a wheelchair. So I probably should have just gone with a less expensive small walker that I use when I just want to use it as a walker. And then I probably should have gone ahead and done what I was thinking of doing at the beginning, which was getting a manual wheelchair, which I can use then when I want to go out um, further. And also if we go on holiday, that saves somebody having to push me. That's the other thing. Um, so, you know, like, those are, the, those are some of the things that you probably should take into consideration but it all depends on what illness you have um and what you need so that brings me to what am i doing at the moment at the moment i am still using the walker um whether or not i will sell it in the future i might um if i do end up getting a wheelchair and i find the wheelchair is better but I'm keeping it now, you know, I mean, it was $400. I had to come out of my own pocket. That's the problem. Um, all of these mobility aids, um, I'm having to buy them with my own money because as far as I know, there's no sort of funding for chronic fatigue syndrome um, within Australia. It doesn't come under NDIS. I'm going to attempt to submit my paperwork to NDIS, but I don't think they're going to cover it. Um, whether or not there's other mobility schemes, I'm not 100%. Um, chronic fatigue is just one of those ones where it's very hard because it can affect some people very mildly and some people very badly and with my case it's quite severe even when I'm not in a crash I experience quite severe um, fatigue and mobility issues loss of balance um, you know a bunch of other things I was thinking about getting potentially an electric one but I do want to still have some sort of um, movement happening so I still want to be able to at least be able to use my arms to move myself and not rely on um, I kind of just need to get a, a little bit more like movement in if that makes sense um, I haven't ruled out getting an electric uh, wheelchair there are small ones that I've seen people using and my support worker actually has a client who has got chronic fatigue, who has a small, um, she's about my size, a small electric um, wheelchair. Um, it all depends on pricing. Like, I'm, I think electric ones are a lot more expensive. As far as I've looked at the wheelchairs that I have been looking at that are quite compact and just like small, because I don't want a really bulky one, again, because that's me going to have to lift it in and out of a car. I'm going to have to be the one to... Um, you know, use it around shops. And honestly, shopping centers are not very accessible, unfortunately. A lot of stores, like a lot of stores, I can't go in there with my walker if I'm sitting in it. I have to get out of my walker outside of the shop and go in. Like, it's just, it's not great. Shops really should be more accessible because it's not very fair. Um, and it's often not always even accessible changing rooms um, for wheelchairs, for walkers, for anything like that. Um, which is why I was trying to use my walking stick a lot, but at this point right now with where my health is, it's just not enough at the moment and I'm really struggling with my ability to get around and to go out and do things that I need to do and things just exhaust me. Um, even with my work, I have to go and do a lot of walkthroughs through different um, services that are like mental health services, so buildings and um, different inpatient units, things like that. And I used my walking stick one time and we had a two hour block of walking around and standing and I nearly died. I'm not even joking. I was like, I could barely get back to the car I, and that was just with my walking stick um, and I couldn't keep up with everybody and I know <laughs> my um like the person who runs it or whatever she she's lovely she felt really bad for me um, you know and yeah it was a lot harder for me everyone else found it was finding it fine but for me it was very difficult so yeah 
Anyway, so those um, are the mobility aids I use for walking. Now I wanted to mention one more thing, um, which is also a mobility aid that I use, and this is a shower chair. I recently got myself a shower stool. Um, I had to get a smaller one because it needed to fit in preferably into my bathroom um, instead of my parents. Um, just because all of my stuff is in my bathroom and there's no way I could fit it in my parents um, bathrooms. Our bathrooms aren't very big. Um, so I got this shower stool. I just I literally got it from Bunnings. Um, and it's been really good so far. I've been using it. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I've been using it all the time now unless I have like a bath. But yeah, it's helped me a lot. I mean, I'm still tired when I have showers. And like putting my, I find closing my eyes and putting my hands above my head make me really dizzy. Um, so that's still obviously kind of an issue. But that's the only thing. Apart from that, it's great. Um, I've been using it for ages now. It is so good when it comes to washing my hair. Because it's just, obviously when you wash your hair it takes a lot longer. And I put like treatments or whatever in my hair and you have to sit there for like five minutes. So it's so good like using it. Um... So, yeah, I would recommend if you have any sort of, like, fatigue issue, mobility issue, standing is hard for you, shower stools, great idea. Um, and you can find ones that are really cheap. Like, I got mine, I think, for $60 at Bunnings. Um, again, obviously, it had to come out of my pocket because um, I'm not got funding. I am currently starting sessions with an OT, and I need to get an assessment, proper assessment done and get them to hopefully push for some funding. Um, so, but yeah, the, the shower chair has been really good for me. So I can be independent, because the point with all these mobility aids is that I want to be independent as possible. I don't want to have to rely on other people for help all the time, um, which is fine to ask other people for help, but for me personally, like I'm just wanting to be a bit more independent and not have to um, kind of rely on everyone else to do things. Um, I still want to be able to do stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is what I, um, use at the moment. I really wanted to get, there's a brand called Visible that has this band that you put around your arm and it monitors, like, chronic fatigue and your heart rate. Um, which my heart is a problem at the moment, so... I need something that um, can kind of keep track of that, and I don't. I can't wear watches because watches give me really bad sensory issues. Um, and the thing is with this visible band is that it's only available in the UK and the US, so that's really unfortunate. Um, apparently, you could put your email in for it. Um, to say like notify me when it's available in my country and it, it lets you pick your country so I did do that and um, I did sign up to tell me when it is possibly rolled out over in Australia I think they're planning to do that but as far as I know at the moment it's not um, rolled out which is very unfortunate so those are all the mobility aids that I use at the moment when I'm still looking into the wheelchair, I'm still gonna ask some other people some questions, like find out maybe um, from my support worker what her client uses and what the brand is and like look at the pricing. I'm probably gonna go and have a look at some potential wheelchairs in person. Um, I found a lot online, but it's just all depending on, I don't know how much money I want to spend, I don't know whether it's worth getting a cheap one that I don't really like as much, because maybe I won't use it as much, but then it's like, but then if I do get one that I don't find as good, if I do end up using it a lot, and like, the other thing, because that's what happened with the walker, um, I think maybe, like, I need to think about in the long term. I mean, this chronic fatigue isn't going away. So, I've had this, I've actually had chronic fatigue for years. It's just that it was not diagnosed to a lot later. So, it's kind of like, well, do I just invest in something that's better quality? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Um, there, I have a few things of what I don't want 
the wheelchair to have. Yeah, so, and I don't want a big one. A lot of them are quite big and bulky. I don't want a big, big and bulky, bulky one. Um, so there's a lot of things. And obviously this is a massive investment. Whether or not I can get funding, I'm not sure. But when I do go looking for wheelchairs, um, when I decide on one, when I buy one, the whole thing, getting it, unboxing it, I'm going to make like a whole video on it or multiple videos on it um, for you guys to show you the process um, of, of buying one. But I definitely have to do my research and if you guys know of any good um, wheelchairs that like brands that aren't super costly but are still good quality then I would love it if you could comment down below so yeah so I hope you guys found this helpful or gave you some ideas if you just need like some mobility aids um, I found them really helpful for me and I definitely don't regret um, using them or spending the money on them um, and they all have different needs and I use different mobility aids on different days depending on what my needs are of that day and how I'm feeling so it's good to have a selection of things you can pick from but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, if you like me to do a bit of a series on mobility aids and things I use to make my life a bit easier then definitely comment it down below and I would love to remake that for you um, and yeah if you have any other suggestions then leave it down below and I will see you in my next video.